What's up, YouTube? Stack44 coming in with another video. Narcissistic people love to hear this question. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Coach Warren, all the new subscribers. But uh, let's get straight into this video while it's fresh on my mind. Narcissistic people love to hear this question. You know what question they love to hear the most, to play out the most, is why are you single? Because what that does, like my boy Coach Warren says, the person that cares less in a relationship controls a relationship. That puts you in a weaker position from day one. You put, their, put that person on a pedestal. The question you should be asking a person is how long you've been single. That evens the playing field that, okay, I'm a nice looking person, I'm single, that person's single. Then when you say how long you've been single, it doesn't, does subconsciously, for a regular person, it's just a normal question. But if you ask a narcissistic person, why are you single? They're going to play off of it. They're going to play to manipulate your mind. And they're going to use that as a tactic that this person is putting me on a pedestal. They think I look so good that I can play the role of, oh, the victim from my last relationship because they said, why are you single? So when you say that to a person that's a narcissistic <clears throat> individual, you give them the opportunity to manipulate you, to use their beauty, to control you, to, to just have power over you. And then let me give you something, another thing. So on top of it, you may ask them that question, then they play the victim role as if, oh, I'm not good enough. That's what they'll say to you, or they feel like you, you're you looking for something wrong with them. So at the end of the day, you put yourself in a bad position by asking that question, why are you single? Because at the end of the day, they can play so many roles, <clears throat> excuse me, on that situation of that question, why are you single? Like, you, we're not penalizing nobody over here. You listen to me, you listen to Coach Warren. That's probably the worstest, the worstest question you can ask anybody. So, you got to think about narcs, how they think. Narcs, in the end of, at the end of relationships, you got, you know, it's hard for you to get rid of narcs because you see all the potential inside. That's because they took everything you told them about your previous relationship after you asked them questions. Why are you single? And they paint the picture to be the person you want them to be. So, <clears throat> you know, you have to remember when you're dealing with narcissistic people, they don't care about their your feelings. The only thing they care about is their feelings. They play off your emotions. They watch what you say and how you say it. So, dealing with anybody... You have to know yourself and love yourself and have equal value. So when you fresh meet somebody, you have to be like, at the end of the day, you have to say how long you've been single. That is a, a straight, even, equal question because the narcissistic person will be like, oh, I can't play off this person because they're basically saying how long I've been single. Like, you're nothing besides, you know, you're nothing, nothing. If you if it was a five or six, you would be like, oh, how long you been single just for general conversation because you you probably want to date or you probably don't want to go so far but if it was a, a nine or ten and you say how long you've been single that mean i'm lucky to be in your presence so you got to think about date the same date in your range and have the same principles and rules and boundaries when you're dating don't ever put a person that's putting a person on the pedestal by asking that question Always make it seem like you're you're showing up at the show, just like I'm showing up at the show. We we desire we, like playing basketball. You you don't ever want to feel like oh I'm on the court with Steph Curry if you're playing against him on the pickup game. You like shit. I belong here on the court with this dude. But once you make people feel like you don't belong in a certain arena with them, they can take full advantage and you give them the power. So. Remember what I said, don't ever put a person on the pedestal. And subconsciously, you guys are not thinking. 
So constantly you guys are looking at this person's sexual market value is very high. And the first person, first question you ask them is why are you single? Or you start searching for, after that question, you start searching for, like, I'm lucky to be in their presence. Or you start searching for something wrong with them. You have to date with a clear mind. But you got to be mindful that there are narcissistic people walking this earth like demons. And they will take advantage of your weakness and, and, and turn around on you and make you look bad. So that's all I wanted to say, guys, is stop using that question, why are you single? Use the question, how long you've been single, equals the playing field so nobody can play off your emotions. So this is Stack 44, signing out. Don't let no narcissistic people play off your emotions. Watch that question. Holla back. See you in the next video.